I suppose it's the hustle and bustle of daily life now. You know, people don't necessarily have the time to spend from 11 o'clock through to 6 o'clock, you know, five days. And the, the old adage that you don't always get a result. You know, you can play five days of cricket and there's not, not a winner or a loser. You know, but the bottom line is becoming more TV friendly. The shorter format of the game, 2020 cricket, is much more spectator friendly. You know, it doesn't have the long, drawn out. Uh, problems that test cricket might, might well pose, so you, you, can, you can get a game of cricket played within a two or three hour period. Everything is now becoming much more television based and shorter games with shorter interest spans suit them down to the ground. I think there's, there's also something in it that says that we've got a lot of competing interests and we really only want to be thinking about one thing for a relatively short period or a shorter period than we used to think. Well it's certainly the one that's most watched you know you've only just got to watch all that you know the boys are in, in Bangladesh at the moment for the 2020 World Cup and the fact that the 2020 World Cup happens so you know regularly I think it's every two years now so the, the fact is it's a very it's a very profitable form of the game for the ICC but I do think that within the ICC and within the structures there, there's a desire to keep out the, the test game as the pinnacle and all, all players, whether, you, whether they say so or not, would say that test cricket is, is, is what makes you a cricketer or not. Anybody can be a flash in the pan, swashbuckling hitter of a 2020 ball, but you earn your reputation on, 20, on test cricket. I think that the greatest influence in cricket remains uh, test cricket. And that's where you hone the skills over a period of time being defensive, being attacking, varying your bowling, varying your batting. I think the ICC is bowing to the pressure from the Indians. Um, India really um, is becoming the dominant force in, in, in world cricket. They've got the most people playing uh, and now they've got a significant uh, television audience and they now have a significant commercial uh, backbone. And, and they're driving everything towards the shorter games. Now there were very, very serious logistical problems in the way of that. For example, not until the last moment would you have known uh, who the four, which four countries it would have been. Therefore, from a television and, a, and, a, and other aspects of commercialism, that would have been difficult not knowing that until the last minute. But there's no question that there's a direct link between the media, the world of business and sport. You know, sport needs the media. Irish cricket needs TV coverage because we get TV coverage well then clearly we can go to our sponsors and, and ask for a greater degree of sponsorship in return and businesses require the media to sell their product on, 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 on TV so there's no, there's no question that TV holds a huge you know, power base within, within, within the structures of cricket. It's too simple to say the media, money has, wherever the money is being generated will have the power because money equals power. And that's why the Indians are now dominating what happens in the ICC because they have the most financial acumen. But if you look at the power that, that television has over, for example, Premier League soccer, uh, that power does not reside within cricket in, 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 in soccer. Um, Sky will uh, change and, and force change in, in games at the last minute uh, from, say, a Saturday to, to a Monday. They will dictate kickoff times, uh, but there is no doubt whatsoever that television is a good thing. I think the proliferation of, of sports channels uh, has uh, brought with it an appetite uh, that cricket has taken great benefit from. The fact remains it comes down to politics. There's a, there's a global pot of money, the majority of which is brought in via India and via you know, the powerhouse of world cricket. And you're asking Turkeys to vote for Christmas because if you ask them, if, if they vote Ireland into the full membership of the ICC, they're asking them to divide that pot of money another way. So what you're really saying is, we want Ireland to be a part of it, but you're going to have less money yourselves. But I certainly think if you just stood here 20 years ago and asked me, I would have said no. I think any thought of the extinction of test cricket uh, is not on. Uh, it is uh, the fundamental uh, aspect of, of international cricket. Uh, it's where the skills are honed. Uh, you cannot play the other forms unless you've had a good grounding in the longer form of the game. And if you look at serious test cricket and the Ashes uh, series, that is uh, Australia v England, and look at 2005, everyone was gripped. A very recent test, uh, Australia v South Africa, right up to the last minute. It is uh, the form of the game where, where the will to win, the desire to win, the commitment yeah. is there more than any other form of the game. 
the sums of money that are involved and the opportunity for players to earn a colossal sum of money in a very short space of time. Sporting careers are short and when you see what footballers earn and so on, cricketers are starting to get a, 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 you know, a bit of that pie. One of the things about cricket now is it's, and, and perhaps some of the Indian 2020 competition have done this, they're almost pop star level, they're almost at a point where everything they want to say or do say is followed avidly. And, and therefore, those amongst the, the cricketers who, who can use this to their advantage are, are in a great position where they can enhance their brand and, 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 and get followers and, and perhaps be able to manipulate that to their own, their own benefit. But those who are not savvy and those who are foolish enough to vent their thoughts into Twitter, it can be the other edge of the sword. It can be really hurtful and do them a lot of damage. It's a hugely powerful tool, but it can be a disaster in the wrong hands. We're trying to implement the first class structure. That can only happen with money. And the problem is the money's not there because we're not on, you know, we're not on the world stage often enough. The ICC aren't giving us enough uh, opportunities to the future tours program. And we ideally want the, you know, being in the next World Cup's almost certainly will be either Bangladesh or Zimbabwe and if the associate country were to beat either Bangladesh or Zimbabwe they will become the 11th test nation and that would be a huge ambition realised for Irish cricket. With the same debate <clears throat> at football when footballers went from a minimum wage at, at the end of the day the market will dictate what's available for the players the market will generally find its right level. Look at what the baseball players are, are, are paid in the States. Look what American footballers are paid in the States. Huge money. Any publicity is good publicity for cricket uh, and the social media will now give you the results uh, uh, as they happen. Uh, maybe newspapers don't like that but then they've got their own websites. I think the social media is a good thing but be wary of social media because it carries with it dangers. I think it's going to become very very structured. I think you're going to have uh, more and more pressure to do the 2020s. I think it's going to end up more like baseball. It's going to be almost played every other night. You're going to have large squads and you're going to have it done in a World Series format where we all have teams flying into India, playing five games there, then flying down to Australia, playing three or four games. And you've, you, you've got the pro... If you look at the Super 14 rugby, and if you look at the way they operate, where there's teams playing from Australia, teams playing from South Africa, and teams playing from New Zealand, in, in various formats, but they play each other. And, and those games are, are played multinationally in... Well, it's the second most popular game in the world, so the game's in a healthy state. It's just making sure that it's managed correctly by the ICC, and the ICC have to be a global organisation interested in the development of the global game, not just in the, the, 